Let's go. Hello, welcome to Gospel Faith Television UK. My name is Pastor Jimba Alex, and um, today's topic is I only work for God. Now, um, if you look at the world today, people have got businesses, people have got companies, people have got organizations, people have got um, industries, and they hire staff to come and work for them. I've done all that in the past, but from my previous experiences, I've got to understand that I, as of today, can only work for God. I can never work for another man or another human being. I only work for God. So the topic for today is, I only work for God. Listen, about three months ago, I got a phone call in my house and um, they said, Alex, would you like to do a job? And I said, um, I wouldn't really mind because we're going through the pandemic and I'm asking them, what was the job for? And they said, um, Alex, it's not a complicated job. They said, um, there's a, a lady that is trying to become the mayor of Croydon. That's what they said to me. So they said that she needs people or staff to come into her entourage and come and work for her. And I said, yeah, but can you give me more details? They said, basically, what they want me to do is come to the area, Croydon, in South London, and I'm going to meet up with other members of staff, and our, our job would be to go from door to door within the Croydon area, um, I think it's South Norwood, Croydon, those kind of areas, and all we have to do is knock on every single door within that area and just keep on putting in the leaflets of vote for the mayor of Croydon. So I said, yeah, I can do that because on that day, I'm not really doing anything. My hands are not tied up. I think I've got the time and uh, the space. So I said, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. So um, they gave me the date. And they said, two weeks later, please be at Croydon in a certain assembly hall. Be there by 12 noon. And they said, when you come, the other people, you'll meet other members of staff and we're going to go out. I said, okay. So on that day, fast forward, I think it was two weeks later, I did exactly as they said. And I went to the assembly hall in Croydon. It was some, I remember I took, from West Croydon Station, I took a tram to South Norwood Station and I found, because they give me the directions, and I found the North Assembly Hall in South Norwood and I got and I was asking them, I was asking the people that work in the hall, do you know anything about what is going on today? And they asked me, what's going on today? I said, no, 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 I'm here to work for the mayor of Croydon, we're here to give out leaflets. And they said they don't know anything about it. But they said, hang around, you never know. So I hung around for another 30 minutes and suddenly the people that were working for the mayor of Croydon, they came. They were all wearing like pink t-shirts and they asked me, are you Alex? And I said, yeah, yeah. They said, oh, you got a phone call, oh, you came. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, okay, would you like to put on a purple top so I can become like a team member, a team member. And I said, yeah, 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 I wouldn't mind. I put on the purple top. We introduced ourselves, I'm Alex, and the other guy he said, I'm Stephen, or Paul, this one of them is Miriam. I think in total, there was about 25 of us. And then after 20 minutes, then the, the mayor of Croydon, the candidate, the, the lady that is running for the candidate, the candidacy, can you say candidacy? Candidacy, the lady, she came. And obviously there was a big poster. So when I looked at her, it says vote for this lady. And when I looked at the poster and I looked at her, I said, okay, there she is. So she introduced herself and we shook hands. She was shaking everybody's hands. She said, I'm the mayor of... Uh, now she said, I'm running for the candidacy of um, Croydon. So she said, I, I, I thank all of you, 25 of you, for coming down. And um, for coming down. And um, it's a pleasure. 
And then she said, how are we going to do this is that we're going to work it out. So 25 of us, she put us in groups. I think of, in groups of threes. My math is not good. Seven times three is probably about 21. So seven times four is about 25. Well, I, I don't know. 28. 28. <laughs> So if you've in a group of 7 times 4 is 21, yeah? 28. 7 times 4? Or yeah. 7 times 3 is 21? Yeah. Yeah, so you've in a group of 3s and there were, there were 7 groups, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then she said, okay, each group has got a leader. To be honest with you, that day I was hungry, you know, but, but, anyway, I, but, but, but I didn't say it, you know. <laughs> so she said, I'm going to put all of you in... Uh, <laughs> He's not going to put all of you in a group of um, threes, and he came up to seven groups. So he said each group has got to do like five different streets, and um, it was going to take about three hours to complete all the streets in, in Croydon. So I said, okay, fair enough. And then I was walking with my group, and one street, or one road here, yeah? oh my God, man. One road took about 30 minutes knocking on each door opening the, what's it called again? The letterbox. And, and putting in the leaflet, vote for the mayor of Croydon. You do this side of the road, you do that side of the road. Man, we done like, we kept on doing it, we kept on doing it. So after I done like, um, I'll say four streets in about two hours, I was getting tired, you know. I was getting tired. I was getting tired, I was getting tired. And I can remember looking back now, yeah, after three hours, I was tired because the leader was saying, Alex, hurry up. I said, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I was, I was behind. And he said, no, no, we're going to do the streets. This is the mayor of Croydon. I said, bro, listen, I've been doing it. I'm sweating. He said, Alex, run. I was, I, was, I, was, I was walking slowly. I was very tired. And um, it got to a point after three hours. Yeah, I remember because we started at three o'clock. I was, I was really tired, man. I was worn out. I even told my leader, I said, listen, brother, after this one, after this door, I'm not doing any more. Because he was trying, trying to say, yeah, Alex, hurry up, there's four more. I said, brother, after this door, yeah, no, no, I can't do, oh, no, no, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so that's what I said, because I was tired. And um, the leader began to argue with me. The group leader. He said, no, no, Alex, you can't be doing this, you know, we've got to finish the job, because this is for the, the mayor of Croydon. I said, brother, listen, I know this is for the mayor of Croydon, yeah, but at least I'm almost 50, man. I'm tired. I'm tired, man. And he looked at me and said, yeah, Alex, you really look tired, you know. And he looked at my um, other team member. And he was tired also. Because we've been doing this for like a good three hours. And this is why I said that the title of my... The title of... Now, the theme of what I'm doing today is called I Only Work For God. So when I finish, you will see what I'm saying. So I said to the... The man, I'm exhausted, I can't do it anymore. So he gave up as well. So after three hours, the other groups were coming back. We were meant to meet at a certain center. And I could see the other groups, they were coming back. They were tired as well. They were tired. So we come together now. And then the mayor, the mayor turned up. And then when the mayor turned up, um, she thanked everybody. And she said, um, thank you for doing a good job for me. You've done a brilliant job for me. Um, I want to be the mayor of Croydon because I want to help the people. That's what she said. She said, clap for one another. You've done a good job. We were clapping like this. We were doing it. But my, my mind was on the food. Yeah, because I was hungry. So I was clapping. We were doing this. She said, shake hands. We were shaking hands. We were shaking hands. One man, that man, that man's hand was too strong. He almost broke my hand. I said, hey, hey take it easy. So you shook hands, you shook hands, you shook hands. Yeah, you do fist bumps and everything. You did fist bumps. Rasta. <laughs> and we thank one another. And then the mayor said, she said, you've all done a good job, but I have to leave. That's what she said. She said, I've got something to do, but I'll call you to let you know if there's any more work to do in the future, but I've got to leave. So we said goodbye, this and that, this and that, this and that. And then we were looking around thinking, what's next? Is there any food coming? Are they going to pay us after doing all that work? Walking from door to door on every street of Croydon. And Croydon is a massive place. For three hours, I'm sweating. There's no more energy left. And everybody else felt the same. Then when the mayor left, 
her assistant came and um, she was talking to the group and they were looking at her like okay maybe something positive is going to come up and she said oh you've done a good job you've done a good job and uh, we really appreciate and she said we've got gifts for you and I was thinking oh I said there's really a God in heaven you know they've got gifts for us I told my one guy that was there my, my team leader I said listen they've got gifts for us you know so I was thinking maybe she was going to give us um like expensive watches because this is the Croydon, this is the mayor of Croydon we're talking about here, you know. Or maybe they're going to give us cars or something like that. Or maybe some nice jollof rice, steaming jollof rice with um, goat meat. So I was looking, I was um, optimistic. My face brightened up, I was smiling like that. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this is getting better, you know. So the sister said, yeah, 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 hey, don't go, don't go, don't go. We got gifts for you. Everyone was looking around, everyone started smiling. So we got gifts for you and um. Don't, don't, no, no, don't go. You've done a good job. We're going to keep you because you've done a good job. And said, remember, if the mayor, if the lady becomes the mayor of Croydon, then she will become the assistant and it's good for the team. She said, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got gifts for you. She said, hang on, hang on, hang on. She said, just stay there. Then she put her hand in her bag and she bought a packet of biscuit. And I'm telling you, in each group, these are adults here. <laughs> these are adults here. Hang on, hang on. These are adults. And there was like um, about 25 people in the group. She said, oh, you've done a good job. I'm the assistant. And the mayor always looks after me. She said, you've done a good job. So what I want you to do now, yeah, is open this biscuit, yeah, and take one each. <laughs> Brother, I looked, I looked at this woman, yeah. She said, oh, Alex, yeah, you've done a good, you're, you're a very good worker. Take a biscuit. And um, I said, no, 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 keep your biscuit. And in my mind, I was thinking, yeah. This woman doesn't really know my pastor. I mean, I've preached thousands of people around the world and made it, I'm on TV station and said to me, take a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> and then my head dropped. And then what did he say? He said, um, what's the other guy's name? She said, Salton, Salton. Come, come, come. Just, there's a biscuit for you. She said, um, you, you, and she said, you hold the packet here. Yeah? Antonio. And he, <laughs> she said, give out the biscuit. She said, um, you give out the biscuit. Yeah, she said, you said you're a very good worker. I'm, so now I'm gonna phone the mayor. I'm gonna phone the mayor later, and I'm gonna tell the mayor that I gave each one of you. Oh, 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 oh. I couldn't take that biscuit. I couldn't take that biscuit. Do you know what? I said, okay, you know what, group? I gotta go now. Yeah, yeah. I was so disappointed. You know, my head was. I said, group, I gotta go now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. I said, I'm going to be here, yes, yeah. I said, yeah, I hope she becomes the, the, the mayor of Croydon because she's going to do a good job. And when she becomes the mayor of Croydon, who knows? She might be just water to drink, you know what I mean? That's fine. <laughs> so, so, you know what happened here? Yeah? I said, I, I can see everybody else. There was a lot of Jamaicans there, there was a lot of Nigerians there. There was a couple of Chinese people, they were all waving their hands like that. Even there's even one guy that was waving with the biscuit in his hand like that. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He said, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. <laughs> You're doing this. And some guy said to me, and some guy, one of the guys ran up to me and said, Alex, are you crying? And I had the biscuit in my hand. He said, I said what do you mean? He said, no, Alex, are you crying? I said, no, but listen, I worked for, for a good three hours. They're knocking on every door. Then, then God bless the mayor of Croydon. Yeah, and they gave me a biscuit. And he said, I want the tears out of my eyes. You know? I the tears out of my eyes. But you know what happened here? Yeah? He said, Alex, I'm going to call you. Yeah, she said, Alex, you want another biscuit? And she said, Alex, you want another biscuit? And I just walked away. I walked, <laughs> I walked away. But you know what? Yeah? A week later, I remember I was in my house, I was sleeping, and my phone rang. And she said, Is that Alex? And I said, Yeah. She said, You remember the mayor of Croydon? She said, We're meeting in the same, <laughs> said, We're meeting in the same area again, in the same assembly hall. Alex, get a pen, write this down. 12 o'clock, all the people are coming, and, um, yeah, we're going to do a good job. We're doing door to door. That this time we found more streets. And she just hopes that the mayor is going to get the, the post. And um, I said to her, you know what, yeah? I said to her, you know what? I said to her, you know what? Um, let me call you back. That's what I said. I said, let me call you back. And I'll tell you if I'm going to be there or not. And then she said, okay, call me back. But to be honest with you, I didn't really call her back. Why did I tell you this story? The reason why I told you this story is, number one, they wasted people's time. Number two, they wasted people's energy. Number three, I want you to understand that the hearts of men are desperately wicked. 
The Bible says that the hearts of men are desperately wicked. And that's why I named this program for today, or the topic for today, I named it, I Only Work For God. There's no way God will make me work for three hours and knock on every door in a certain vicinity. There's even dogs inside the doors. The dog can even buy my hand. I'm putting my hand inside the, what's it called again? Inside letter boxes. I don't know, something can bite me. Someone can cut my hand. I don't even know who lives there. So that's why I say, I, I, I feel the title of this topic here. I only work for God. I hope you got the message. And um, that was me, Pastor Jimba Alex. I'll keep you posted about most of my um, videos that will be coming up on Gospel Faith Television. You've been a good audience. God bless you. Yeah, show this a little fancy.